Hey guys, John here. Today I wanted to share with you a couple tips to make you even faster using Pigment. So let's go over here to a new preset and let's go to an analog engine. And right now we have a saw wave. Let's say we want offsetter two to be a square wave, maybe down one octave, something like that. And let's maybe modulate this volume with an envelope just so it kind of pops in really quick and then fades away. Oscillator number three is going to be a little bit of a triangle wave. Let's adjust some of these fine tunings. And let's say we like something like this. This is the greatest engine that we've programmed yet. So now we like this engine so much that we want to copy this to engine number two. Now we can do that easily by clicking this button at the top here next to analog, going to copy to engine one. Now we can either copy it from all the settings that we've changed, or we can copy it with the modulation that we've applied. So in this situation, let's go to copy with modulation, and then we go to the second engine right over here, and then bam, we have the same modulation over here. And also keep in mind, we can go to the same thing here and we can reset the engine because maybe we want to start over again. We have everything else set up, but we just want to rest reset the engine from the beginning. So instead of trying to go and double click everything and trying to make it like how it was before, you can always go over here to the top and then go to reset engine and it's going to reset it. So it's very helpful. Moving on from there, let's say we have the, over here in our filter mode right over here and we have some resonance going on like this. Let's bring out some of these oscillators. And we turn in another filter. Let's say we like the SEM filter, put some resonance over here. And we wanna just kind of see what it's like if we swap these filters. Now we can do the same process. We click this multi-mode, go to copy swap, and then we can swap the filters in order to see what it sounds like if it's processed a different way. And let's say we actually don't even want the multi-mode, we just want two of these SEM, so we can select this here, copy swap, and then copy filter one in filter number two. Bam, now we have the cutoff setting, now we have the resonance, maybe you have different modes or keyboard tracking, something like that, and it's easily copied. So something like that is gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. So let's go back to a new preset here, and we can do the same thing within the functions tab. So if you're in our first function and we kind of just make some weird shape like this, we've spent like three days on the shape and we're like, okay, this is cool. I really don't want to spend another three days with this shape. We can select down here, copy to function number two, and then bam, we have the same shape. And now we can maybe double the speed for something like that with the same shape. So it's very useful to do something kind of like that. Now working upon that, we can go to the effects. And this is where it gets really cool. So we're here in the FX bank A. So we have this delay set up and we like this. It's really cool. We've maybe changed the fine, the feedback, stereo spread, high pass, frequency, low pass, so on and so forth. And we want to do the same thing, but maybe just change the timing real quick, right? So in this situation, we can go to delay and then we can go to copy effects and go to copy to A2. Now we have the same delay and bam, we can change this to a half note, something like that. So it's super fast to do something like that, or we can copy this to a lot of different places, right? We can copy to all the slots and then we can go to FX B1, B2, B3, and then also as well the auxiliary sense. So let's say the same thing in auxiliary three over here, which is gonna pop up down over here in this third slot of the auxiliary. So that's pretty cool as well. And the very last one that I kind of wanted to bring your attention to, let's go back to a new preset and let's go to synth. So this is gonna work in the sample engine. So let's go and turn this guy on. And we're going to go over here to the edit tab. So now if we're going to trigger the sample, we like the sound and then maybe we bring in another one. Let's say we'll look through here and we spend some time looking through all these lists, pianos, keys, let's say piano C5. We like that. That's a cool sound. And we want to do the same thing with numbers with letter C, but we don't want to find it again and spend the time. We can select this B, select the same icon and then copy the sample to sample, for example, C. We want to do that and it's going to be the same note. And then now we can transpose this down one octave if we want to do something like that. So with these kind of things combined and using these every time we were making a patch is going to save us a lot of time, which is going to give us more time to make more cool sounds. So hopefully that helps you out with patch creation and makes you work a little bit faster to make more sounds. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.